I started working on the wings. I've got the servos installed in the wings. Those are glued in using the glue that was provided in the kit. I've added the control uh, horns. Those are glued in. I've also added the linkages and you'll notice the uh, piece of tubing that's on there. It's actually a piece of heat shrink. It's not actually shrunk with any heat, just slid on there. Saw that on a website. Somebody recommended putting a piece of tubing over there to make sure that that linkage does not come apart. Since I did not buy the complete kit, I bought the, the plane and then the pieces separately, my servos have the same length leads on them. So you'll see that on this particular one, my servo lead ends at this point and I need to have an extension. And I then needed to create an opening in that uh, part of the channel so that that connector would stay recessed. So it would be below the surface so I can put that filler strip back in uh, correctly. I also had to take a little bit of material out of that filler strip to allow the, the cable then to um, clear and everything again to lay flat. So I have this wing pretty much ready to go and add the filler strip. The other wing I've gone ahead and put in that filler strip. And in this case, I was looking online, a number of people are using some different stuff. Some are using epoxy, some are using the uh, CA, the super glue, the quick setting super glue, and some were using a polyurethane glue. And that's what I chose to use on this particular one. I thought it would be a little bit easier, less messy to try to use it. Um, and it dries white, so that was also an advantage. So this one's glued in using that particular glue. It also, <coughs> excuse me, came in a smaller, easier to dispense tube. Uh, I certainly didn't want to use the gooey contact like cement that they provided. Uh, I just thought that was going to be a mess and I didn't want to get any into the channel where the carbon fiber rod is going to end up going. So I opted to go with this. A drawback of this, maybe two drawbacks, one is it expands, and I knew that, and I did some testing ahead of time. So I was careful in the application and where I applied the, the glue. And again, I think it worked out pretty well. I did get some oozing, but after it all dried, I checked my carbon um, reinforcing rod goes through, no problem, so I didn't get any into that channel, and I think it'll be fairly good. The other drawback, other than the expansion of it, that I found was its strength. I did an initial test, just to grab a couple pieces of scrap, glued it together with this particular polyurethane glue, follow the directions, let it sit uh, overnight, and I was able to, with some force, pull it apart. It was quite strong. But then I thought, well, let me double check. Let me try an experiment, similar experiment, using the foam safe. Uh, super glue, the CA. And that's what this is glued together with. And I let this sit overnight. Did not use any accelerator because what I've learned from doing some research online is that the accelerator actually makes the joint more brittle. It does cure it very, very quickly, but it makes for a weaker joint. And this is very strong. This is, I can't really pull that apart at all. So when I go to glue the next filler strip in, I'm going to use the CA. I'm not going to use this particular glue. I may use this um, on gluing the fuselage together. I've not totally decided on that. It's not instant setting, so um, you know, not time's not an issue with me. So I could use this. Uh, I've not decided if I want to try to do it all with super glue. I don't think I want to use their. Uh, contact cement to glue it together. I think it would work. Uh, I'm going to use it right around the engine mount because the super glue and even this glue is not meant to fill gaps. So I'll probably end up using either the um, contact cement. I could use the white glue. I could use the super glue. So I've got some decision to make there. The other thing I did is I glued in the motor into the fuselage and this I did use the contact like cement that they provided and I did it by using it like a contact cement meaning that I applied a thin layer of the glue to the styrofoam portion 
and then I also applied it to the corresponding piece on the motor mount. Let that dry till it was um, pretty much dry. It was I could touch it without it being seeming like it was wet and sticky, and then pressed it in there. And it worked out quite well. I've got my clearance, so I'm good there. You'll also see because of the motor that I'm using, since the leads don't come out through the motor mount, I had to create this little channel, and I had to do that in both halves of the fuselage so that my motor leads will be able to fit in there and the two halves of the fuselage will be able to fit together without any difficulty. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to proceed on getting this together and doing some uh, more finalizing of some of the different components. So please subscribe and I'll keep you up to date with the videos.